What's up, all you truth seekers out there? Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, and thank you for subscribing to another episode of Truth Talks. I am your host, Crazy Bone. I'm the Bum Keith G. Yes, indeed. And once again, we back at you, man. It's oh, going yeah. down. It's going down. What's going on with it? Oh, man, everything good, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I was really enjoying last week's episode so much. You know, I, I've been listening to it a couple of times, and I appreciate it myself, man. I was, oh, yeah, definitely, you know, definitely. glad you know, to be uh, listening to something like that. There. Once again, shout out to Tretch for calling in, oh, Lil Easy for calling in, you know. Definitely. The special no. guest host we had on there, Elisa, last week. Yep. Thank her for falling through. No yeah, way. man, you know, um, speaking of that topic or issue, uh, you know, a lot has went on since that last episode. Yeah. You know, we've seen, um, we've heard all kinds of stuff come out, you know, like people just showing their, um, just showing their love and respect. Yep. Along with a couple of people showing disrespect. Oh, man. <laughs> which which leads us. You know what I'm saying? Which we're going to get into. But, um, you know. Uh, leads us to our topic. The, the memorial service is a. Uh, taking place at the Staples Center. Yeah, yeah. You know, which is why it's going to be like real big, real real emotional, you know. Oh, uh, definitely. One thing I must say, man, you know, to see how many people was affected by Nipsey Hussle's death. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, how many people he touched worldwide. Man, worldwide, G. You know, it's, it's crazy. And, you know, um, we was just talking about how people need to come together in the community. Yeah. I like what, what the whole... Uh, Bloods and Crips. Oh, man. That was a beautiful scene. You there. know, getting together without no incidents. Beautiful scene right there. You know, uh, man, everybody just coming out, you know. That's what, That's what. you know, even though it was a terrible, terrible thing that happened with the loss of a, of a great man, you know, a great role model, great all type of different things, you know what I'm saying? Not a perfect man. We ain't nobody perfect. You know what I'm saying? Dope dude. But to see the, you know, the after the things that come about afterwards, just like what you're saying with the, you know, different gangs coming together and being able to shake hands and hug and dudes that ain't seen each other without activity in years and there's no trouble, you know what I'm saying? And with, with one of the most, as some outsiders would call it, the biggest type of powder keg, but nah, no yeah, explosions, you know? Definitely, definitely. That's because everybody, you know, understood at that very moment what respect was exactly bottom line you know and that's 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 basically what needs to happen man in life general in our lives just in our day to day you know we was talking about last week how we should be tired of this yeah. you know we should be tired of have having to live like this having to settle always settle for less yeah man and it's simply because we, you know, we can't come together. But I, uh, I understand fully why, you know, things are going on in this world, why, how they're going on, why people won't come together. Yeah. But that's a whole other subject. We want to talk about, you know, the respect, just respect in general, man. In what, general. You know, and it's, it's lacking so much in this um in this era we living in. It really is, bro. You know what I'm this saying? This generation, you know, it's lacking so much. And um it's just it's just you know, just just the it just general respect. Just you know I, I don't, it's I don't just know not there. Cool. I don't know when it got cool to, you know, disrespect, you know, elders and things like that. You know, I ain't saying all the days gotta stay from the days that we grew up in and different times like that. I know it's not gonna be the same but Damn, like we were saying in the car earlier, even bums used to tip their hat to when they passed by the church or some dudes would turn the music down when they go by one, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, yeah. Even at that level ain't even none, you know? Yeah, yeah, but it ain't even it ain't even about like just like respecting the elders. It's just like it's like people ain't got respect for nothing. Life period. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just it's just it's just crazy. Where do you think that come from though, G? Just the whole I know we know we you know you know how about different things, but you know on the surface kind of thing, where where that come from? Uh, what that is in a human being? Um, a lack of what? Ask what? You know, not even to talk like yeah, that way. Like what you know, not being, being brought up right, or yeah. is it adapting different ways? I mean, or? it's all that. It's all that makes in one. Not being brought up right, not being taught 
you know, it, um, not being taught to fear any. See, and a lot of people teach their kids not to fear nothing. Mm-hmm. Not to fear nothing. Right, you know right. What I'm and they don't tell them that they're supposed to fear God. Right. Now, now you're talking to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so they they come up thinking like, you know, they don't fear nothing and it's just them. Has it has it gotten escalated more? Of course we do, you know what I'm saying, peep game on different things like that, but do you, has it gotten more escalated of the, the levels of disrespect? Because like I can say with the era, of, it was different eras before us where they wouldn't do this, then they wouldn't do that, you know what I'm saying, the next oh, yeah, era, the next era. Now we at this point of where... Did you see it going like this when we was in the 80s, you know, kicking it and things like that? Did you see like, I okay, mean, the future had, kids got to be this way. If we this way, they I mean, got to be this our, way when it's their time. We know? had our certain levels of disrespect. Yeah. You know, when we didn't listen to our parents and, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because all kids, bro, like all kids, like all kids will turn out bad if you let them. Right. If you sit up and just let a kid do what they want, that's why... The parent is there to guide the child, you know, from not from not being from you don't like to give them restrictions. Mm-hmm. Because if a child don't know restrictions when they grow up, they you know they're gonna they're gonna be think they entitled to everything. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be it's not gonna be a good system. Them is not the gonna thing. be a good person nine times out of ten. Them is the reason why parents used to say. I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to put my hands on you like this so the law don't have to. Because when you get in the law hands, you know what I'm saying, they ain't finna, they ain't finna have no oh, yeah, mercy yeah. on you. Oh, no. You know, and they trying to teach you to stay, at least have some kind of reason, something to stay out them in their hands. You know, it's it's shit. Yeah, but now they got all the laws that, you know, you can't you can't touch your kids. Yeah. You go to jail for it. So it's like, I mean. So did that, and I, did, I that had to play a big part in it. Because when you start spoiling the rod and you're spoiling the child, like that but, type of but, thing, sparing the rod, you know But what mostly I mean? where the whole, the whole level of disrespect comes from is, like I said, miseducation. Yeah. You know, like these, you know, people are not being taught a level of respect. They, what we what, what dude from the Compton Kids Club say? Oh, life man. skills. Life skills is what he's See, teaching those young people ladies. Ain't got, before those girls gained gain them life skills, how they say their life was? Hey, terrible. Every, every last one was, of them. They was down. disrespecting people. They was, yep. you, you know what I'm saying? Early. So that goes That's to show true. you right there, it's a great deal missing. And yeah. I think all the kids in the world is... Just living in poverty, just like going through that. That's why they turn out like that, cause it's right. It's so, it's so many. Now that's a dope way to look at. It's a whole nother side of it too, for those that aren't parented, cause most of you know the inner city kids is if you if you ain't a foster kid or something like that, and you do got a parent, you may got one parent and a step parent that ain't really saying nothing to you at all. You know what I'm saying? Or either you know you don't have none of that kind of situation to look up to. So you know it is that way. You and then you. Growing off what you see and without a mentor or someone to care, you know what I'm saying, like they doing down at the Compton City Kids Club is um that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's the only place that's doing it's a lot of places all over the world that's helping out with the situation, but it's not, you know, not it's just not enough yet because respect is at a it's almost like it's the thing to do right now. Yeah. I mean, you know, when we look at when we when we look at this whole situation with what what Kodak Black oh, man. said about was saying, you know, just 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 the remarks he made about Laura London. Yeah. And, you know, while some people tried to argue, oh, he's just keeping it real. What? You know, it's gonna eventually happen. <sighs> Even if that's the case, a respectful person would have kept that to herself keep your mouth closed oh yeah cause you know it's a lot of niggas thinking already thinking like that it's gonna be thinking like that but nigga you don't say no shit like that hell nah you know and especially I mean yeah you don't say nothing like that real nothing. talk you know what I'm saying especially at the time you know what I'm saying like yes it's just that's just having common sense man you know but that just goes to show you 
the level of disrespect. I'm talking about like you don't even know not to say no dumb shit. Like yeah, yeah that it, that's what got me because I'm like dumb like that. You, really, that kind of that kind of saying. That's what really got me, bro. I couldn't believe he said it. When you hit, I think you hit me up and told me, yeah, you see what this young cat said? I said, man, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe that. Just how close things, even comedians that do jokes and stuff, at least, and they have a time period of yeah. respect. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no jokes about nothing till a bad situation for years or two. You know what I'm saying? Till people can kind of get, and then not a derogatory joke about it. You know what I mean? Something may be bright, not about the certain situation here, mm-hmm. but you know about different things or whatever happened, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can't do that that quick, man, you know? Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand, you know, what he was thinking. Yeah, man. You know, but it was definitely... um. And that not good timing, not at even, all. Not even to talk again much on this, but um, I seen a lot of the people will say, you know, we supposed to have taught him um, what to do in these situations. As rappers, rappers, we did rappers did put out a lot of derogatory things and stuff like that, but what and different messages. But what this young man did, he didn't. This wasn't a rap thing that he did at all. This was something from his non-parenting or the system, like we said earlier. So it really, I don't know who, ain't nobody really even to blame for this, but this young man to not know not to do that, to even say something, that that's almost some of the worst things that you could say to a family at a time like that. Exactly. The, the, the message is all, I'm not trying to beat down on you. I hope that you could even hear this, man. No, nope, you got to beat down on it. But yeah, you got to, but you, whichever, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, nigga, beep, beep, beep. to 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 say that that quick and not even know the repercussions, even the apology that you said, it didn't even seem genuine. It exactly. seemed like someone made you do it and things you still don't know. And not just you. A lot of people just don't know the like levels of respect. Said, hey, man, this is going to affect some of your uh, money. <laughs> you need to say something. That's the kind of apology it was. Yeah, that exactly. Exactly. And that, and, and not no sincerity. You, you know, that that had nothing to do with even love is what I'm saying. But see, that's 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 ain't no fathers around. Tell a young nigga to open up a door for a woman or do this and that. You, you know, it just ain't the relationship. The, even the respect level of that has got just all discombobulated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like, man, yeah. The future. It's grim. <laughs> it really no, is. No, 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 and I ain't gonna even say that because it's really not because everybody just everybody that know to choose to follow God it knows it's not grim. You know exactly. It looks grim on the you know when you're out here dabbling in this, but it it looks real grim. But you know, for this world, it is what it is, man. So here it is, you know, Nipsey Hussle. Lost his life what a week ago? A weekend now, which is what two a uh, weekend and maybe three days now. Yeah, and uh, you know it's just been all kind of support and just condolences. Yeah, sent out to this dude, and um, it's just you, you know it's appreciated to see, and at the same time it's just sad because you know. When you see the when you see the outpour, you just like yo. This dude had the potential to be like, hi. That dude, I mean, he was already low key that dude, but yep. the world didn't recognize it yet. Yeah, it took this to shine light on what he was doing all this time and then from the yeah. And it's crazy because had not he died, it would have taken him a little longer for people to see this. Yeah, and that's that's for real. Yeah, to real see how tough. great that this man's heart was and his ability to draw people together, you know, and to 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 come from selling tapes. I don't know if we said it the other week. Was come selling tapes out of the back of the thing to be nominated for the Grammy from Los Angeles is a big thing. We don't really have that market of selling tapes out the trunk right here in Southern California. In Oakland it was different, you know what I'm saying? Up up, up in Northern California it was a lot, lot different. That was they they invented the hustle grind like that one. You know what I'm saying? How to get the money out the game, but we really didn't do that down here. He took that type of his mentality was that way. Is what I'm saying. A lot of dudes didn't just sell these trunks tapes out the trunk. 
Man, yeah, definitely. To go from that to winning Grammys and driving on jets and helicopters and things like he did. Oh, you yeah, know? that's the old Easy e and W.A. way. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's, that's stuff they taught us. Took him down to the swap meet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, but... Yeah, man, his hustle from where he came from all the way to where he ended up, like, was just... Just all the footage you see online, it was just amazing. You know, what he was able to uh, develop and and orchestrate and put together. Word. His whole operation was... Uh, I'm learning new stuff off him every day. Yeah, I know. I was, you know, I'm be sitting up watching the videos like, wow, I didn't know he was doing this. And Man, that tree store that he just put the, uh, the, uh, the, what was that? Confidential, the OG, yeah, uh, yeah. some strand, whichever strand. I forgot the name of the strand. But he just was. Uh, I just seen that online. Clean store, looking fly. I'm like, man. And then of course we got the, uh, we all the, got all the clout chasers, and the people. I heard it was people out, you know, selling tickets. What? Yeah, man. Selling tickets. Now, the tickets was free. Tickets is free. The tickets was free to his, uh, to his, um, to his memorial. Yeah, for sure. Down at the Staples Center. But people was, like, taking the tickets and selling them for, like, $500. Cut it out, man. No, See? No. That's that. That's when we was, look. We was trying to clean up our language, you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying. That's that's something you know what that is, man. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. Now that's just exploiting and taking advantage of of, the, of a situation. Who could? I couldn't even go to sleep good at night knowing I didn't try to scalp some tickets, you know what I'm saying, to someone's funeral that was free. Yeah. <laughs> that's some other. That's some next level situation right there, man. It's crazy. So. You see all the back, you know, um, Kodak Black got a lot of ba- backlash from from what he said. They they pulled his music. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stations pulled his music out here. I see they um, they took his name. I mean, they took him. They took him out of the the trap museum. Yeah, <laughs> which I didn't even know they had one. I didn't have me neither. Who the yeah. hell is it? General manager of that, you know Yeah, in Atlanta. Oh, uh, yeah. It's down there. Yeah. Shouts out to the Tribe Museum, though. But they need to take his at, take him out of there. Getting better, y'all. They need to take you him out of there. You think it was that y'all. serious? Man, it, that's why I said I was beyond the rap thing. You know what I'm saying? I hear, yeah. I hear what the MC is saying. I hear Cam saying, of course. You know what I'm saying? I agree with Who him. Who said it? Cam was saying... Of course, you know it's, it is. It is a lot of the, um, you know, the 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 messages that the, a lot of rappers preceded these rappers did. There was a lot of things out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that they learned that wasn't this and that. And he's saying this is just a monster of that. You can agree with some. I can agree with right. some of that. Right, right. So that, but so. But what he what said, said, but what he said, what he said and did to me was beyond rap. That was some. That's disrespect. But 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 on a parental level. I mean, but. But still, though, people look at like you can look at stuff like what what Easy was saying back in the day, like trust yeah. no bitch, all bitches ain't shit. Yeah, I mean that's the start. That's where they got it from. Yeah, and I mean so, I agree with some. Of, that's why I so, said I agree on a, on a hand on a hand. So honestly, that's why that's why I said in, in the last episode, it's a lot of miscommunication between the generations because you know the generations that came before got to take the blame. Yeah. Of some of what they uh, that's real taught the last you know like the, the the ones coming behind them. Cam also said that too. He he, he actually know, issued a challenge to like for people he's to apologize about that. We ain't, we ain't paint no uh, pretty picture. Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> Niggas, yeah. Real. It sure wasn't, and, and that's that's even big enough for you to even say that kind of thing. That's why I say I do agree with the. I know I say it's parental and what Cam said with it at the same time. I don't disagree with Nathan. He said, but I'm saying it's much the, that level of that boy respect was that. But MCs, it was it it wasn't a pretty picture, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every word we you know we like we always say in the car when we talking. We talk a lot in the car, man. That's just where we spend a lot of time. Niggas be driving places, but we was talking about we the first ones and the only ones to have. Bitch in our song, in music, the whole history of music, it didn't get called that till we start that. That's way out. Yeah. That was just why. Why our cigarettes had to be so strong? 
Why our malt liquor have to be so strong? I'm saying yeah. that's 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 what lead us to some of this disrespect. Mm-hmm. Our music is, our music is. We got we got. Kind of appreciate the malt liquor. We, yeah, nah, ain't, ain't no wrong with that. <laughs> Od was eight hundred. Saint eyes, get it at your local liquor store. But I mean, we had the highest value. All of our thing is turned all the way like to a whole nother notch of things. You know, our music was real amped up like that. The products that we smoke and drink, and all that plays in a part. I think of us. Without parents, a lot of disrespect. Yeah. Ghetto bastards. Shit, that was us. What, we done st- st- walking yeah. around stealing as kids and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what... It, but see, yeah, it's the cycle, though. So it's kind of going back. It's it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Really, situation. though. It's, it's like, why even, why even try, damn it? Fuck it. It's almost uh, even hard to. It's like why? Yeah. No, but see, um, that brings us to the whole thing of talking about everything. Now you know, like I was saying, you know, um, <clears throat> we can sit up and say we can have these. You know, we can sit up and say, you, you know, people need to step up and be leaders and and right. do this and do that. But at the end of the day. It's gonna always be penetrated. <clears throat> it's gonna always be be able to be penetrated by the enemy, right? It because, and that's with any situation, not just black situations. You know what I'm saying? And this goes for other struggles in other countries, like whatever they're going through, whatever the yeah. people over there that's being oppressed, whatever they're going through. It's like you can always. Organize people to rebel on this or, you know, yeah. move on this, storm on these people. But, like, bro, that shit is never going, it's just going to keep going on and on until one person stops it. So, like, when people be like, you know, you can't just sit back and do nothing. Right. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Talk to them, face. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, it's a waste of time. If God is already telling you, look, it ain't nothing you're going to be able to do. Right. You just sit back, and when the time comes, I'm going to take care of it. Yeah. People just ain't patient enough, and they just don't want to wait on them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's why I don't be stressing, because I'm like, it ain't nothing we can do. Yeah. So I'm not about to be out here marching, talking about, you oh, no, we shall overcome. Yeah, we will when God says it's time. And that's real. Ain't nothing we can do without his now, time. Talk I'm to not us, saying though. like you, you you can't contribute like and do and do good stuff and like you know like give back and stuff like that. That's that's definitely cool. But I'm saying like yeah, don't get it twisted. The y'all. bigger problems like you know, kind of like what the police is what the police is doing. Hmm. I mean, how many? How long we been we been getting killed by the police? And how long we been protesting? And what has happened? Yeah, videos out, beatings before the videos out. You know what I'm saying? Video Nothing. showing it. They don't care. Right. So it's like, that's not, you know, it, it, that's that's just how we, that's just how it is for right now. A car in the mud just spinning his wheels. Sound like it's going somewhere. Right. Then. You know, th- this is just something we're going to have to get through. And, you know, when it's time, I mean, I mean, when he's ready to move on it, he's going to move on it. But... The top really top time is do. ticking too, man. You know. Yeah, really. You know, and man, so and uh, like we keep seeing all this. Everything we see, man, is like I don't. I don't care what people say. Everything we see, seeing, it's like clockwork. Everything is like moving according to what. Yeah, man. To what he, but this is not no coincidence. Like, no, nah. man ain't predicting none of this. None of this, G. For real, it ain't everything is not just happening exactly like he said it was gonna happen. Cause, bro, it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's going down. Man, this is this is the type of For thing real. I'm talking about right here. This this that conversation. You yeah, know, bro, because I told you like everything we talk about. Like whenever we talk about issues like this. Yeah. Everybody always saying, you know, we need to come together. We need to do this. But it's always going to be like no matter what kind of movement you try to put together, 
to do good, somebody is always going to infiltrate it. Yeah. To bring it down because this world is ran by the devil, bro. So, like, he don't want to see nobody come together to do nothing. He don't care what your cause is. Yeah. No, it ain't going to be no harmony in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... He got one mission. You right about that face. He says steal, kill, and destroy. You know what I'm saying? So th those kind of things is what the opposition, you know what I'm saying, we up against. But right. we, but those, a lot of the things that we is, is so invisible that you don't even see it. And, you know, it's really inside a lot of it's play between your mind because a lot of it has to deal with yourself too. You know, and... If, if respect is something we can't even give and that that's a whole strong tool of everything too because that's a that's a whole sign of attitude that's bravado right there that's arrogance when you don't respect nobody that mm -hmm. mean you know that's really that spirit of man get out of my way you yeah. know what i'm saying and 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 the best you can do the best you could do these days is just you know you still gotta try to teach it to the kids even if they rebel you know what i'm saying it is what it is but like you have to teach them a level of respect. Yeah, really though. They have to have that level of respect. But again, we don't we don't see that these days. And these kids is all over the place. Yeah, man. But it's come like you were saying that teaching or the upbringing, a lot of that kind of thing. And we don't have a lot of parents in the house. Like you know what I'm saying, not even to beat that horse like that, but we just don't. You know, so a, a kid ain't gonna learn no respect. He just learned. What the, what what you learn from what you even a lot of people they learn sex they learn it from when they friend tell them about it you know what I'm saying and stuff like that before somebody really sit them down in a real good way and tell them something like that you know what I'm saying what it's for so of course even maneuvering all people all we really taught was a lot of things that just get money you know we didn't teach a whole lot of the other things get, yeah basically. This and that wasn't even from the parents. That's just what the TV would tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Everything. You know, the whole society is nothing broke. So basically, man, we can sit here and we can, you know, talk about what needs to happen. Right. What the kids need to know. And um, this and that. And it's all really, you know, if you think about it, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time, but you would feel like that because the majority of the world, like, don't care or seem like that. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's just like, yeah, you can say we need to do this, we need to teach the kids more, we need to do this, you know. People who know this, they do. Yeah. It's yeah, almost indeed. like an uphill battle or something. Almost like it's going an uphill battle, you know, when, um, and it seems like it's so discouraging to even do, but, you know, I guess that's the the time we got to, you know, really, uh, really, you know, just keep going, even if it's like trying to suck a whole river with a straw out, you know, or something like that, you know, just, you know what, take it squirt by squirt, I guess. So, you know what I'm saying? Or have it when you digging something, just don't even look at it. We, cause if we do look at the whole situation, it's, it is going to make us, you know what I'm saying? Feel like, like I don't even, I want to throw my hands up. Marvin Gaye made a song like that, you know, made me want to throw my hands up. Made me want to holler, throw up both my hands in the city blues. That's the way that man felt, you know, because of the way he look around society, you know, but it's still hope. You know, and everything like that. So, you know, the, for the ones that is doing it, that's why I think even the gang cats that came together and, um, you know, did what they did, you know what I'm saying, calling the meeting and bringing guys together and stuff like that, that was a beautiful thing. You know, because, you know, to they could have did something else. They could have said, you know, just leave it be. This can't happen this way or that way. But, you know, to, to use your influence that way and to, to try to use peace and to come together in peace and with some with some kind of love, that's a beautiful thing right there, you know. And you can't. I, I commend those guys for doing that, man. They walked up and down the street, yeah. and I was very proud of that, man. Really, you know, we we talked about that a little earlier, but those kind of things need to be broadcasted a lot more because those are the things that we should be proud of, you know. People putting differences aside, trying to get along with things, and and having respect, you know, where there was none before too. So you know, at least we could try to learn, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just tell people like this instead of I feel like instead of trying to and let's keep it and let's keep it 100 instead of trying to you, you know join up with some of these these little organizations and all these 
Black Lives Matter and all, you know, all these other little movements they have. You know what I'm saying? The only movement you need to be trying to get behind, again, is what God telling you to do. Why? Because all the mother movements ain't going ain't gonna to take you to everlasting life. That's real talk. They, gonna, they ain't going to... All those other movements all serve and their goals are temporary our temporary goals. You know, like we're trying to find peace, a level of peace in this world. There is no level of peace in this world and how it's being how it's being Talk to him, ruled man. Because it's being ruled by the devil. He ain't trying to have it no peace. So until so he's gone, it's not going to be peace. Or, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's just what it is. That's why I like this show, G. Keep talking, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that's why I like this. You know, that's true, man. That's bottom line truth right there. It sounds ugly, too. It sounds almost like, man, they them dudes must be crazy. I agree with everything this man's saying because that's the word of God, bro. And that's the world that we live in right now with a lot of distractions. A lot of things that keep us off exactly what is really the focus of what's going on here. And it's not money and it wasn't colors. You know what I'm saying? But them two things, hell, the devil ain't even had to pull too many tricks out. You know what I'm saying? Give men power and money. Shit, he got, look how it's been the whole time. Just those two things. Jealousy and envy. Let them things kick in a little taste. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Know. It's a wrap then. You coming up with disrespect the whole time. All that's a a, a, a factor of that. Right. Factor of word. So, again, there's no need to sit up here and say, yo, y'all need to respect them. Y'all need to show more respect. Because, just like we said, what did it say? Like in these days, what would people be doing? They would have a a measure of a large measure of disrespect. Like, nigga, we see that all, like like almost immediately towards everything. Yeah, parents. You know what I'm saying? So it's like kids it, is cussing the parents out. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a if I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I've been a kid before. I have parents and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sit up and just be cussing with them like that. You know what I'm saying? I want, you know, a, a level of respect. And if I learned it, I learned it from, you know, that's just they done learned me wrong. You know what I mean? And it's not nobody's fault. That's how I do. Some people say, oh, we just love each other like that. But damn, not my cousin in front of my grandma. You know what I'm saying? Dropping F, just this my, this and <laughs> oh, on, oh, yeah. No, no, no. no I've been... It's gotten to that point of life now. Yeah, I know. I'd have been slapped what? a few times, son. Come on, all under the table. Do you know that's the mother, the lady that birthed me, to birth you? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it, uncles in, everybody <laughs> involved. But that's the levels what kind of have respect. Yeah, I don't even think I I don't even think I curse in front of my mother or the grandmother like Man. At all, even when I did get older. Yeah. I, that's not I mean I probably did, but I'm not when I got drunk probably, but And that that <laughs> that'll do it too. Yeah. Now, I ain't blaming the kids that the young people that do, but that ain't the thing to do. That's not a way to prove you older or your badge of I'm a grown person. You know, you can do that in a whole nother way. You know, wait till you get outside somewhere. Because if you wouldn't sit up and cuss in front of when Obama and them was the president, go up in their house, you know, then you just cussing all back when you get home. Well, why you respect these people more than that? You know, some people will have more respect for. Yeah, there's some people that won't respect nothing but a, a, a officer suit. Then there's some dudes that won't respect the officer suit, too. You see, them get swung on, too. You know, but I mean, to a certain level, you know. People yeah. know when to lose their respect is what I'm saying. It's kind of a little button to turn. I'm going to disrespect him. I won't disrespect him, though. I heard a dude tell a story. He was like, yeah, it was his it was his young boy. He was like, he had long hair. And, you know, they asked him to join the ministry, but he was like, oh, man, you know, I, I don't want to join the ministry because, you know, um, they asked me to cut my hair. I don't want to cut my hair. Yeah. But then he said the boy went to go apply for a job at Disney World. <laughs> And they asked him to cut his hair, and he said, "You know, he needed the money, so he cut his hair." And he was like, "See, he would have, he'd cut his hair for Disney's Magic Kingdom, hmm. but he wouldn't cut his hair for God's, God's kingdom." kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. crazy. Damn, it's crazy. It's deep. 
You know what? We do we do this? Yeah, that's a, that, that's true. I was talking with somebody the other week, and they said that they said people don't want to spend thirty minutes in the church house, but that's I hope a, a game goes into overtime, and you pay for that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You want to see four quarters and then some more. You know, for real. You and, know, and, and, wow. And, and, and what the things usually be like an hour, hour and a half. Oh yeah, and you hoping for overtime now? Church, yeah. you know, saying maybe an hour. He like, hey man, hey man, well, you better hurry up. Around all day nigga, sometimes, now. just like not doing nothing. This pot roast on the oven, nigga. Spot. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, so just just to paint a picture, you know what I'm saying to y'all. We ain't trying to dim the. We ain't trying to. Uh, you know, make you commit suicide and just oh no, make it seem like there's no hope. Uh uh-uh. uh But the, we trying to get you to see is man, like I, just look, I don't been through this world <laughs> for real. I don't been through it. I I know exactly what's out there. And uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I don't know where to start. Tell him before something you, before <laughs> you jump into it. Before you before you dive into it, you know what I'm saying? It, shit, the world is crazy. Like, and everybody that dives into it don't don't come back the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and like, the biggest statement, you know what I'm saying? And this is all stuff I had to learn after you afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, the biggest thing that God says is like, you know, like the 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 spirit of the world is like, it's treacherous. Man, it'll snatch you up, man, and it'll just have its way with you. And just like when it's done with you, you have nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You have nothing, like man. And yeah. it's just you know, it's the coldest, it's the coldest thing ever. So it's like that world don't care about us, yeah, but it'll make it seem like it do. And the rules of the world, even down to. Even down to no snitching. I ain't, nigga, I ain't down with telling on nobody. That ain't the thing or that type of thing. But how'd that rule get into a good effect and won't pay good attention to what God got to say? You know what I'm saying? How'd that one get so much, so much something about it? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And yeah. that's something that's made up by men. They really don't even keep that too. Because exactly. in every organization, I've always seen them from Gotti to everybody to every color is and bike gang to everything. Everybody is told on somebody from over there from their own brotherhood. Exactly. How is that upheld more and looked after more? That's a part of this this world. You know what I'm saying? The prince of this world. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Them, them the things he like us to be a part of right there. Yeah. You know, just little stuff like that. So I'm just gonna say, man. You know, just uh, I think I said in the song. Don't let the system guide your life because it can never guide you right. Huh. For real. <clears throat> they they are in um they are in their positions. They are in their respective positions huh. because they're being allowed to be yeah. these authorities. I'm talking about the government and the authorities and everything they doing, they're being allowed to be in their positions. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Because bottom line, if they, if we didn't have like these laws and police and you know, it, 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 everything would just be chaos. But Oh yeah. Um it's only temporary. It's Talk all to only him, temporary. Man. And you know what I'm saying? Just wanna say uh once again, rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle. Man. Condolences to his family. Entire family, yo. You know, uh Again, it was a very, very tragic situation. A lot of people still warning. You know, a lot of a lot of people was really, really touched and hurting, really hurting. That's why the level when the level of disrespect, you know, it just cannot be tolerated. And I see why people yeah. are reacting the way they are to it because you know it's not needed right now. It's it's people out there just really really hurting that this man lost his life yeah so prematurely so senselessly you know so this ain't no time for games it ain't no time for niggas no. to be making no 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 punk ass remarks like they making nah that's just bottom line uh, yeah show some respect yeah hey hey you right face it ain't no time for none of that kind of thing and and when especially when a I'm just saying, not, it, there's never no time. It could have been two and three years. He could have never, he could have, there, 10 years from now, he should have never said what he said out of his mouth. I don't know who his parents are, and I ain't condemning nobody, but they did a 
terrible job on that young man right there <laughs> if they allow him to not even say. Terrible. You know how sometimes people say, hey, it's man. Terrible. Oh, like Eddie Murphy say on time, we we'll punch you in the mouth for when he was with Dan Terrio or something like that. They did something, you know what I'm saying? They kept asking, what? you could understand if somebody did something to him. But I didn't want, I don't wish death upon nobody. But it seemed like he did when he was said that comment right there. You know, that was something that was. That he, I don't know if he understands the severity of that kind of situation. What he did, not even just on a, a repercussion. But just to put that out there to other people to think that this is something cool to say, because you're he's a people follow him, man. He got all kinds yeah. of different. You know, how these young dudes got all these followers, whether they bought him or not, they following him and every stupid thing that they doing. Yeah. Not all the youngsters doing nothing stupid. I'm not putting that on all, all the guys like that. But look, you could be a old fool. Or a young fool, too. Oh, this yeah. has nothing to do with your age and the oh, yeah, age definitely. gap that's going on right Fools here. No this, has, <laughs> this has everything to do with what we're talking about today is respect. That man did a lot for people. That man had a beautiful family. Respect should have said, man, I'm not finna say nothing about this man's family. Whatever drug you're using. That that helped you say that type of situation. Yeah. You need to stop using that one because that drug right there put you wrong to doubt us. Just right now, you inside out, you know, doing that thing. The apology, like I said earlier, that was real, real faulty. You would, you're the type of person that need to go and see. You need to apologize from afar in a good way and then go later on when it cooled down. Go try and apologize in person. Yeah. Send them something. Do something. I don't know what you can do. I wouldn't recommend even coming to California for a long time. <laughs> oh, is that a threat? No, it's like... Uh uh no nah, no, nah. it's not a threat to him. Um, this that's actually a thing no, of no, uh, no. a thing of safety no, he for him. I'm, I'm I'm saying that actually sincere. So I only mention that not out of nothing I'm gonna do to you he or nothing like that. I'm saying, look, bro, don't you? I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend you coming to California for a long time unless you made peace with somebody or someone yeah. brought you out here with peace. Pretty because much. other than that, it would not be good for you, man. It ain't like, you know, you can't say he should have known better because, you know, Nipsey even, like, reposted his music and, like, posted his music. Yes. And, you know, like, gave him love and, you know what I'm saying? So it's just how you not know something like that would be disrespectful. I don't even, there's gotten to be no way. That's why I'm saying don't come for a long time because there's no excuse almost <laughs> yeah. for that. You know, you'd have to be, you'd have to be, and see, Forrest Gump wasn't even retarded in a retarded way. You'd have to be retarded like the kind, and no disrespect to you, because he's not even, to retard, or people who may be uh, <laughs> disabled. I'm not even going to say retarded, but I mean retarded in a way of, you you real stupid, G. Something like that. You, well, you lose your entire Ignite. mind. Ignorant. Not even the short bus type thing. I ain't talking about none of that because people are born with different, uh, you know, handicaps and stuff like that. And God got the special things for them that they got that we don't got. Well, we think we laughing and giggling. They do, you know, they, he got something for them and got something for uh, particularly for their life. But what you did was the thing that we laugh at when we say retarded way. That's what you did, man. Yeah. I have no idea what could have even possessed him to say that. It had to be drugs. I have no idea. But I done tried drugs before. <laughs> how these people... He ain't made me do nothing like that. I have no idea how these people even end up with deals. <laughs> you know, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, man, you know, we thank y'all for joining us for another podcast of... Man. Uh, Truth Talks. Make sure you subscribe to it. You know what I'm saying? You can go to wherever you Spotify, listen to it. Spotify, Spotify iTunes, Google Play. All that. iTunes. Radio.com. Oh, yeah. Digital Soapbox Network. All that. You know what I'm saying? But thank y'all for joining us. I'm Crazy Bone. I'm the Bum Keith G. And remember, the truth is always talking. You, you just, just gotta, gotta listen. listen. Yes, indeed.